everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the latest fall collection from victoria's secret and it is the cashmere collection so this is their annual seems like i mean every time they come out with a collection they come out with these four core fragrances in limited edition scents, but it's always the same four. So before we get into that, I just, y'all, Victoria's Secret is boring me <laughs> with these collections. I have not really been excited about any of them this year i mean i have found some nice ones from the collections but it's not been one collection that just grabbed me and like i said in some other video where they I, it feels like they keep regurgitating the same thing okay here is bare vanilla cashmere packaging and then look at bare vanilla la creme see how similar they are look at the golden collection it's like the, it's it's very similar. So when I saw this collection, I immediately thought the first one I thought of was this La Creme collection. And then I said, well, the Golden collection somewhat, but more so the La Creme collection. So I was like, okay, how are these gonna smell? Well, let's find out together. So I decided to go for these mist, the ones I don't tend to love the most in the line and save the one I look forward to the most for last. So we're gonna start with Love Spell Cashmere. This has notes of rich nectarine and fluffy marshmallow. So when I saw marshmallow, I went, hmm. But also, you know, Love Spell, I went, hmm. I do like this one, y'all. I've sprayed these, I've let them sit. This smells like a perfumey, somewhat peachy, citrusy marshmallow scent. It made me think of a Bath and Body Works fragrance mist that I can't think of the name of it. It was limited edition a couple years ago, and it, it had notes. It came out in that collection with joy, love, peace, hope. That's what it was. Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. That is what this Love Spell Cashmere reminds me of. I'm not going to say it since I don't have it here so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Because I was looking back here on my uh, backups tray. And it's somewhere over there, y'all. But I can't find it. Because I couldn't remember the name of it and I was looking for it. But it does remind me, it puts me in the mindset of that. Immediately when I smell this, that is what, that's the fragrance mist I thought of. And like I told y'all, it's not all the time I can instantly remember something of that a fragrance or a fragrance mist reminds me of, but this time I did. So that makes me think, even if it's not a dupe, it is very similar. And like I said, that was Winter Peach Marshmallow. And Love Spell is usually a peachy, citrusy type of fragrance mist anyway. So that is what it reminds me of. It's nice. I do like it. I'm not mad at it. I plan to keep it. The packaging, like I said, even though it reminds me of previous packaging they've done for these collections, it's very pretty. Um... Now, this is not your gooey, sweet, marshmallow -y type of scent. But it's, it's a fluffy, um, citrusy, fruity type of marshmallow that I do enjoy. I really do like it. So, Love Spell Cashmere is a win for me. But if you have Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow, but that is limited edition. So, let's say you on your last one of, the, let's say you're on your last fragrance mist of that. I would definitely go give this a sniff and see if you interpret it the same way I do. Because, yeah, that was the, I immediately thought of that fragrance mist when I smelled Love Spell Cashmere. 
Okay, the next fragrance mist we're going to smell in the cashmere collection is Velvet Petals Cashmere, and this is really pretty packaging. The notes for Velvet Petal Cashmere are toasted sugar and blonde woods. Now, I was watching a video. I can't remember what her name is, but she was saying, and it was the total opposite of what I thought. And I just think that's so funny. She was saying how in all these limited edition, oh, I didn't realize it had... Oh, this doesn't, I thought it had glitter on this, y'all. I was about to get excited. It does not. That she said that uh, Velvet Petals Cashmere, no. She said that Velvet Petals and all of these limited edition collections always smell like Velvet Petals. And to me, in my opinion, Velvet Petals is the one I never know what I'm going to get. Because it doesn't always smell like the original. So that just shows how subjective fragrance is. So, let's smell Velvet Petals and let the cashmere and see if I think what I thought when I initially smelled it the first time. Let's see. And I do. Y'all, this, I hate to say it because I think we're all sick until death of saying it and hearing it, okay? This reminds me of Cloud. It reminds me of Cloud, it reminds me of Baccarat 540, it reminds me of the uh, other fragrance mist in the core line, I can't remember the name of it, is it Midnight Glow or Midnight, it's something, um, it reminds me of that, it reminds me of Chirosa 68, it reminds me of that DNA. Immediately when I smell this. That's what I thought. Cloud, cloud intense, cloud pink. Just NM. Pick NM. If that's what it reminds me of. So if you are tired and of being inundated with cloud and Baccarat 540, you can pass on this. I mean, I... I keep hoping I'm going to pick up something else from it. No. I, that, I, this, I, it's just that DNA. That is what it smells like to me. If you don't know the cloud DNA, the Baccarat DNA, all the others I named, it's like a smooth, woody, ambery, transparent type of sweet scent that is unisex. And I keep, okay. Like, where's the toasted sugar? I'm getting the blonde woods. Yeah, that is all I'm picking up. So, with this one, y'all, I'm going to spray my skin. And we're going to come back to it. And see if I pick up something different on my skin. Because you're smelling it from the top. Baccarat. Okay. <laughs> So the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Pure Seduction Cashmere. So this has notes of whipped meringue and decadent berries. Now y'all, before we smell this, Pure Seduction, I have never liked the original Pure Seduction, okay? And then I went through a period where I was returning all of the Pure Seduction uh, limited edition Missed because I wasn't loving them and then all of a sudden I started liking them and liking them So I finally had some pure seduction even though it was a limited edition Pure seductions. I had it in my collection. So Let's see if this is going to be a keeper I mean this smells good. I these are staying my initial thoughts are staying the same on all of these This smells like I wrote down tart creamy berries That's what it smells like Pure Seduction Cashmere doesn't smell like anything super unique. It doesn't stand out to me. If you have been wearing Victoria's Secret for years like I have, if you have an extensive Victoria's Secret collection, this you have. You have it. It's, a, it's pretty, but it's a creamy, tart berry scent. And it's going to sweeten up as you, as you wear it because... I've smelled this. I don't know how many times from Vicky. I've smelled it. Is it good? Yes. Is it a must have? If you have an extensive collection, I'm going to say no. 
but it is nice. Like, I think I say this almost every time when it comes to one fragrance mist out of this these collections when they do these four core scents. Um, I always say one of them smells like fruit punch or something. And this is the one that does this time. And usually it's pure seduction or love spell that I'm saying that about. So this time it's pure seduction. So it's a thick, think of a nice punch. That's what it smells like. It's nice, but forgettable. And that's what I'm getting a lot with Vicky. It's so hard for me to pinpoint a certain fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. I can do it with Bath and Body Works all day. I can't do that with Victoria's Secret because like <laughs> they be coming out with so much similar stuff all the time that it's hard for me. It's harder for me to do. And that's why when I immediately think of something with Victoria's Secret that's unique, it stands out to me more because they are, Vicky is the queen of redundancy. Sorry, she just is. Okay, so like I said, this is good, but it's good but I'm, all i'm saying is if you if you've smelled fruity tart creaminess from vicky you 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 have this probably but it is nice okay now the one everybody is always waiting for the most is a bare vanilla cashmere we always wait for the bare vanilla ones so the notes for bare vanilla cashmere are plush patchouli and vanilla orchid Okay, y'all, let's see if I feel the same way about this one. And I do. You just, you hear me say plush patchouli. So when I first smelled this, I wrote down sweet tobacco. That is what I picked up from this. As I keep smelling it, I still feel that way, but not as potent and in your face. This fragrance mist bare vanilla cashmere reminds me of kaoli sugar Ro royale patchouli royale whatever that that just beautiful striking ornate gold bottle is that i say i can't do it i can't do it i couldn't buy a full bottle of it and i gave the travel spray away because that one was like too much this perfume, well, I'm seeing, you see it smells like a perfume to me. This fragrance mist smells like that. And I am not one who likes to smell tobacco. That is what I am picking up in this fragrance mist. And I think some people said it smelled like bare vanilla golden. We're going to compare because I got to know, but I didn't really love Bare Vanilla Golden. But before we do that, let us uh, let me smell Velvet Petals Cashmere on my hand and see if there's a difference. It's very soft, it's very faint, but I still feel like I get the Baccarat DNA, the clout DNA. Softer. You, you know that, um, that limited edition fragrance mist from Sol de Janeiro that came in the blue bottle. That it was kind of like a powdery soft version of that clout DNA, that's kind of what this is giving me on my skin. So not bad, but just just nothing new. So y'all, now we're going to compare Bare Vanilla Cashmere to Bare Vanilla Golden. Now this had Sugar Tonka and Orchid Blossom. And see, I wasn't a fan of that Tonka. And this was just, everybody just loved this. And I was like, meh. Okay, to me, it does smell similar to um, Bare Vanilla Golden. And I wondered, I, I didn't love this one. 
But this Bare Vanilla Cashmere to me is smokier than Bare Vanilla Golden. So, am I keeping this? I don't know. Let me spray this one. And the packaging is just what it reminded me of these two because I love this Bare Vanilla La Creme. I think this is my second bottle. I either had two bottles of this or two lotions, but I, I love this. And that's why I'm taking my sweet time. It smells nothing like Bare Vanilla Golden or Bare Vanilla Cashmere at all. This is a light minty vanilla that I love. So let, I could not find all of my fragrance mists in the La Creme collection. I don't know if I use them all up or what. So we've compared Bare Vanilla Golden. Let's do Velvet Petals. No, this one smells totally different from this. Totally different. So let's compare Love Spell Golden. No, they smell totally different. So even though these collections were similar in looks, the only one that I feel like that it smells similar to are the Bare Vanilla Golden and the Bare Vanilla Cashmere. They do smell very similar to me. Okay, now let's smell, before I rank these, let's smell bare vanilla cashmere on my skin. I still don't love it. I don't hate it. I still get that sweet tobacco note. So I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know if I... Mm. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't know. I just don't know. So let's rank the Cashmere Collection, shall we? Coming in at number four. This is hard, y'all. Coming in at number four. I, I, I have to do it. Coming in at number four is going to be Velvet Petals Cashmere because... I am tired of the Baccarat DNA. I'm tired of it. I'm sure you are too. So that's why it's number four. Does it smell bad? No. Does it smell good? Yes. Is it redundant? 100% yes. Because it would be different if Victoria's Secret did not have a fragrance mist that ever smelled like Cloud or Baccarat. But they have before. So why are you doing another one? So this is number four, Velvet Petals Cashmere. Number three... Number three is going to be Bare Vanilla Cashmere. I know a lot of people are probably going to love this one, but me and Patchouli, we are not friends. We are frenemies. Sometimes I can roll with Patchouli, sometimes I can't. And I don't, I, I can handle this, this version of Patchouli on my skin once, because it's very soft. That's another thing I'm gonna, oh, I'll talk about that at the end, but it's very soft and faint to where it's that tobacco scent doesn't overwhelm me like with that Kaoli Royale almost took me out. So this is one that's manageable and bearable for me, but it's still not a love. I can't foresee it ever becoming a love. So that is why it's number three. Number two is going to be Pure Seduction Cashmere. I've smelled this before, it smells good. But if you've smelled about, I don't know, if you've smelled five of these and you keep smelling and all these collections, I keep saying I feel like one or the other love spell or pure seduction cashmere is going to smell like fruit punch to me. I've smelled it too much. So even though it smells good, it's coming in at number two because give us something new. And coming in at number one is love spell cashmere because it smells really good to me. Peachy, fluffy, marshmallowy, citrusy deliciousness. It smells really good. So it's number one. I don't think I have ever had love spell number one in any of my rankings. So there you go. That's my favorite. Now, what are my thoughts on this collection? Based off of what I've sprayed on my hand, I can smell these fragrance mists, but they are very soft. 
So if you don't want an overwhelmingly, you know how some fragrance mist like this right here is strong, bare vanilla golden, like boom in your face. These are faint, but they, but they still, I can still smell them and they still smell nice. So just keep that in mind because I know some people are tired of the weaker fragrance mist. I wouldn't say these are weak in the sense of you can smell them. Because some fragrance mists, they're so faint you can barely smell them. I don't have that problem. I can immediately smell both of these on my hand. So just keep that in mind. I don't dislike any of the fragrances in this collection. I don't just. I don't feel like, do I love, love Spell Cashmere? I don't know yet because I keep thinking of Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow from Bath and Body Works. So, it's not a bad collection at all. Do any of them make me think fall? Because that's, that's another thing with these collections Victoria's Secret has come out with. One collection kind of made me think transitioning to summer. The other collection, I can't even remember what was in it. Let me look over here from when I... Oh, it was the, the pink looking collection. See, that's what I mean about Vicky. I couldn't even remember, y'all. I could not even remember the collection. I had to look over here and go, what was it? That is <laughs> that's what Victoria's Secret fragrance mist our collections are coming to now. I don't think any of them scream fall. You have one out of each collection. Like if I'm gonna say the one that smells like fall is bare vanilla cashmere. The rest, you can just wear whenever you want. This is the weirdest fall collection I think I have ever encountered from Victoria's Secret. I don't get it. I mean, how do you have fall and you have this one beach chill? That's why I'm thinking this is a transitional fragrance from summer to fall i don't know but it was this is weird all the way around and i think we have one more we probably have one more fall collection from victoria's secret because sometimes they do like an online exclusive collection and they haven't done that yet so it makes me think that's going to be the next collection and then we're going to get into like the holiday collections so <sighs> So the cashmere collection is nice. It is nice. But if you have an extensive collection of either Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works, it is not one here that I feel like that I have not smelled before. Not one. So even though it smells good, I just wanna I just wanna make that clear. Because you know, it <laughs> Everything's expensive, and, and Vicky's deal, the only one they've been given is 5 for 40 Or, you know, whatever deal they offer you, it always comes out to $40 for these fragrance smiths. So I just wanted to, especially the ones who I've talked to in the comments, and they watch me, and they say they don't have a Victoria's Secret, and they can only order online. I always want to be very specific with these Victoria's Secret um reviews because it's harder to get for some people than bath and body works and i just want to keep reiterating all these smell nice and that's why i tried to do a few comparisons that i could because they all smell familiar they all smell familiar to me now am i going to keep these fragrance mists Y'all, yeah, it was so funny. I took back all that pink stuff from uh, to back to Victoria's Secret because it was a repackage. And then I took back like four or five fragrance mists that I didn't want. And, and they were like, are you sure you don't want to look around? Are you sure you don't want to just exchange? I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't want to exchange. I think... I think I'm gonna keep all of these because they do smell good. I do like them. And they, they smell good. And I, I don't dislike them enough to take them back. I just don't wanna just take them back on a whim. I have to really 
just not want something in my collection and really dislike it for me to take it back. So I think I'm going to keep these, but I do have to go back because I, what did I, which one did I, is this the one? Yes. So it was buy five for 40. So I put, I put, this was an in-store pickup. So I decided to get a backup of Cedar Breeze because it surprised me how much I thoroughly enjoy and love it. And then I get to the house and they don't have it in there. They just have the cashmere collection, which I'm glad because I was watching, I think her name is Naima. I was watching her channel and she had done an in-store pickup and they gave her all of the cashmere collection except Love Spell. They gave her the original Love Spell. Now, come on now. If somebody's ordering all of the cashmere collection, why would you give them the one regular love spell? So I'm going to have to be like, y'all didn't put it in my bag. And they better not be like, well, we can't honor that. Because, uh-uh, I spent too much money at Victoria's Secret. They know me up in there. I'm not going to go in there and lie. Now, why would I say I didn't get this one, but I have all the rest of them? So they better give me my mist. Because I checked on the webs on my, on my email. It didn't say it was out of stock. I think they just didn't put it in there. So that's how I did not want to have to go to no dog on Victoria's Secret and drive over there and go. But I'm going to have to because I'm going to be like, where am I missed? I paid for it. I want it, honey. So those are my thoughts on the Cashmere Collection. It's a pretty collection. The packaging is pretty, even though to me this is kind of redundant too because I showed you some packaging that's similar what that they do at this time of year for these four core scents. They're all pretty, but they all smell good. But like I said... None of them was um, unique, in my opinion. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Have you smelled the new Cashmere Collection? What are your thoughts? I would love to know. If you agree, cool. If you don't agree, cool. I just want to know what you think. Please share this video with everybody, y'all, because you know we are still trying to grow over here. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.